Hi guys and um, welcome back to my channel. So today we've got the latest episode of Action Figure Friday. Now in today's episode I've got another one of the comic book characters. Um, characters that haven't been really featured in the movies as yet. Um, now this um, this character has had a brief tease in um, Endgame with his name being mentioned. But is yet to um, appear in any of the... Um, any of the movies. Um, another character I don't know too much about, but um, I've bought him basically just um, just due to who he is and um, basically being um, from the UK. Um, I thought it was cool to um, grab um, grab this guy. So the character in question is Captain Britain. So I don't know too much about Captain Britain, to be honest with you. Um, um, he's portrayed by somebody called Brian Braddock. Uh, you can see Brian Braddock, um, Captain Britain, on the back of the um, box with Wonder Man. He is in the um, Build a Figure Fay um, range for the Abomination. Comes with Scarlet Witch, Secret Wars Captain America, Captain Britain. Um, Eel, whoever he is, the Wonder Man that's featured on the back of the box, and Iron Skull. Now, looking at the back of here, I think I do want a Marvel MCU Scarlet Witch. Uh, we've got a Captain America. Um, and the Iron Skull looks quite cool, so he might be one I might pick up. But to be honest, I don't think we're going to get an Abomination built because I don't want the um, rest of the figures. So um, I, don't, I don't think that, that builder figure will get done. So... You can see um, an image of Captain Britain um, on the side of the box. So there he is. So the first one was, I think, Wonder Man, to be honest with you. For some reason, they feature the art for Captain Britain and Wonder Man on the same box. There you can see, it says build a figure for Abomination, and we have got one of the arms of Abomination in this box. Um, so. Very nice. Um, we shall get Captain Britain out and have a good look at him. So, Captain Britain, we've got him out, and the box doesn't really want to go back in, but um, we've got Captain Britain out of his um, box, there we go, that seems to have done it. So, Captain Britain, so here he is, a very, um, very nice um, figure indeed, comes with no weapons or anything, so it's just Captain Britain on his um, own. So you can see him, so he's got the Union Jack um, outfit um, symbol on his shoulder. The Union Jack um, on the um, headpiece. Again, that same symbol on his shoulder. The Union Jack does come down his uniform. Very stiff figure, this one, to be honest with you. It does seem to be um, moving eventually. So it bends at the knees and at the ankles, just um, moving around. So it's very, um, very much a chunkier figure, this one, to ones that I've opened already. So it does look like a bit of a muscle-bound um, muscle bound character. Has a belt around his waist, does pivot at the waist and does rotate. So um, a very nice addition to the, um, to the British corps of action figures which I do I do do like to um to get um obviously we, you saw me open Union Jack a couple of weeks ago and adding Captain Britain in is a very much something I wanted to do now there is a Spider UK I've seen as well which um I would like to add into my UK corps 
um, on the collection. But definitely Captain Britain is a really, really nice figure and addition to the collection. Um, not quite sure how we're going to display him yet, um, but we will get him added in and up on the shelf very shortly. But this is another another very nice figure. The um, the decoration and the um, paintwork is very very nice on this figure. So a cool one to add to the collection. Obviously, um, the name of Brian Braddock was um, mentioned by Peggy Carter in the um, End Game movie when um, apparently he hadn't uh, reported in just yet. So. Um, that's um that's who she was talking about. And we'll go with a quick brow to if I um doesn't say much about Brian Braddock on the back of the box either. So there he is, Captain Brim. We will get him up on display and um take a look at all the um all the um characters we've got so far in the Marvel Legends range. So I'll put him on shelf and then we'll have a look. So guys, there you can see Captain Britain added into the um, collection. One thing I have found with um, trying to get this display up is he is a very difficult figure to stand and display. Um, very much one of the more weighty of the um, Marvel Legends figures, but um, I think I've got him in a nice pose, ready to ready to fight. Um, there he is with the um, Union Jack, and like I say, I, I did want to start collecting this um, range of British action heroes, I do think it looked quite cool. Um, Taskmaster, Captain America and Gambit making up the Legends range so far. Obviously we are adding more every week now so this is going to grow rapidly. Um, but I do like the look of Captain Britain. Um, I hope you agree, it does look um, it is a good set that we are starting to build. So Captain America with his shield. Um, I think I do need to definitely get some more X-Men. Um, Gambit is a bit out on his own in that in that regard. Um, but definitely a collection I am enjoying building. So there you go, Captain Britain. I hope you've enjoyed that one. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this um, edition of Action Figure Friday. Um, adding Captain Britain into the Marvel Legends wing of the display. I like it mentioned, I am enjoying doing these Legends videos, so um, I hope you are enjoying watching them. Um, we do have another one coming to you next week, so remember to tune in for that one. And if you have enjoyed the video, please give me a, a like, give me a subscribe. It all does go to help growing the channel um, and helping me build the audience. So with that being said, um, I'll, leave you, um, I'll leave you there and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.